hello it's anika and welcome back to another episode of 40 things that i have learned on my road to turning 40. so today i just want to jump into it um it's just the lesson that i have learned is just the um idea of redefining redefining allow the lord to redefine um success for me right so when i was younger in my younger days if something was big and there was a lot of numbers and there was a lot of people i would automatically look at face value and say hey this is successful right however the lord is is really helping me to see that that's not always the case i can't use the world standards to measure success so i'll use a very personal example for you i um when I tell people that I have a YouTube channel, they there's typically two questions that they ask me. And I would say eight out of 10 people, this is how the conversation flow. Oh, I have a YouTube channel, person B. Really? Me. Yes, I do, person B. So what is it about? Me. Oh, I just talk about like, you know, just faith, family, and just some random recipes in there, even though I'm not really consistent with that person B. Oh, that's wonderful. Me. Awkward smile. Mm -hmm. Person B. And I always wait for it. So like, how many subscribers do you have? Me. Mm -hmm. Thinking in my mind, like, all right, there goes that. If you ask me, then I know what that means. And then I'll say, oh, roughly 500, you know, and then person B. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That's nice. Me. End a conversation, right? So now this is not everybody, but eight times out of ten, this is how the conversation normally flows. And what really happens is that you know, when I tell people how long I've been doing this and how many subscribers that I have, and I've been doing this for a few years now, a lot of people don't view my channel as being very successful because it's okay if you've been doing this um, for two, three years, you should be well over 500 subscribers at this point that's what people are thinking so it's they won't even check it out because in their mind it's not very successful but here's the thing and, and, and if i don't guard my heart I, I i can begin to question whether or not this thing is successful but here's the thing that i re realize is that i'm not doing this for general purposes i'm not just doing this because i love to talk and i do love to talk but i'm not standing here in front of the camera talking i'm doing it because i feel compelled to do it i feel called to do it it wasn't anika's idea it's a god's idea god's idea right and what he has shown me over the last few months from just a different text and personal emails that i've received is from people that you know are having real struggles um for example i received a, an email from a, a young woman yesterday and something that I shared about that I went through personally um, as a young woman really blessed her and really ministered to where she was and gave her the courage to move in obedience to do something that could very well be life altering, right? And I have to really take those, um, take note of that and, and recognize that that's true success. Yes, I may not have millions of followers, and if God chooses where it's just, you know what, if I stay at 500, but the good news is being proclaimed and people are hearing and their lives are being transformed, then absolutely, that's successful. So that's my example, right, of just um, understanding what true success is. So I, like I said, I have had to allow the Lord to redefine what success really is and to not give up on something prematurely because it's not as successful as quick as it should be according to the world's system again back to this youtube channel you know i could easily be like okay i've been on here for three years it's not growing this may not be working let me shut it down but i don't go according to man's standards i go according to god's standards so i just want to flip it back around on you what is it that you are doing right now and you may be thinking that it's not successful when it really is it's having an impact on other people and while it may not be loud it may not be big and it may not be many right but you're having an impact on people do understand 
that that's the litmus test for whether or not you're being successful. So if you never get to the grand stage, if you will, if you're impacting life, lives and doing what God has called you to do, then that's true success. That's another part of it is even if I don't get the spotlight, but I'm doing and I'm walking in obedience and doing what the Lord has told me to do, even if it's to an audience of one, the fact that I'm moving in obedience, the fact that I'm using my giftings for his glory, that means that I am successful. So I just wanna encourage you with that word today. Don't give up because it's not as big and as grand as you would expect it to be. Um, but do recognize that, again, as you move in obedience, that that's what true success is. All right, you be blessed.